Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. This is a quick one. I'm gonna show you how to create a consistent style for all your images using the new style reference or SREF parameter in mid-journey. I see a lot of eight to 10 minute videos on this topic. This is a two minute topic at most. Let me give you an example here. Here is an image that I used as my reference image. This is the Theo Van Gogh or Van Gogh, depending on how you wanna pronounce it. This is his Dr. Gachet uh, portrait that he created. Now, here are some of the images that I created from that using this as a style reference. They're awesome. Now, how did I do it? Let me walk you through it step by step. Step one, go into your Finder, or if you're in a PC, maybe your Windows Explorer, drag and drop in an image into your mid journey, and then when it's dragged and dropped in, hit enter. Once you've done that, the image will be loaded up here. I'll click on it, and I'm just going to right click and I'm gonna go ahead and copy link. You don't have to click on it. You can copy link right here, but it's just an old habit. So we've copied that link. Now, the next step is uh, you wanna go forward slash imagine spacebar, and we're gonna be at the prompting stage. So I want Elvis Presley, uh, just Elvis Presley. I don't even wanna make it a fancy prompt, but here is where the magic comes. What you need to do next is go dash dash S-R-E-S. S-R-E-F, that means style reference or S-Ref. And then very important, you have to hit spacebar. It does not know that this, there needs to be a space there. If you don't hit spacebar, you're gonna have a bad day. And then all you gotta do now is Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC and copy in the link that we saved earlier. Now I'm gonna press enter and you're gonna see that it's gonna start cooking up based on this image. I'll come back when it's done, show you what we got, wrap it up. All right, welcome back. So here is its first attempt at it here. If I click on it, you'll see here, it's got that cool little neon pastel style in the Warhol style. I mean, some of these, I might use the bottom left one here and the bottom right one has potential, but there you go. And you can go ahead and use all the different techniques to you know create variations and upscales, et cetera, that I've got in all my other videos and tutorials. But that's literally all there is to it. Thanks for watching.